Thank you very much also for this opportunity to present uh, these, uh, the results of uh, this uh, interesting study to you here. Um, as mentioned, this was a phase two uh, randomized uh, international multicenter uh, trial uh, of chemotherapy, EOX chemotherapy, with or without IMAP362, a first uh, in class anti Claudine 182 antibody in the first line treatment of patients with uh, metastatic gastric or gastroesophageal uh, junction adenocarcinoma. So the IMAP362 antibody is a chimeric IgG1 backbone antibody which is highly specific for the Claudine 182. Claudine 182 is a component of the tight junction proteins. The tight junction proteins are very important structures for cell adhesion, integrity, and many other uh, cell and tissue specific functions. So this antibody, once it uh, targets its uh, Claudine uh, 182, it uh, acts uh, in different ways, including antibody dependent cellular cytotoxicity, ADCC, and complement dependent cytotoxicity, CDC, but also in combination with chemotherapy over immune modulation of tumor microenvironment. So uh, the antibody is a, is a classical immune therapy. In this trial, um, we screened 730 patients for their Claudine 182 expression, and 686 were accessible. Of those patients, about half of them had Claudine negative uh, expression or the expression was too low to be eligible for the trial. So the expression rate is about 50% uh, in the trial. Few other patients were excluded for other reasons. So um, uh, 252 patients were, uh, were eligible and were randomized into three arms. Arm one, EOX chemotherapy, arm two, EOX chemotherapy combined with I IMAP362 at 600 milligram per meter square uh, every three weeks with a loading dose of 800 milligram per meter square. <clears throat> later, about one year later, we introduced a new third arm, which was an exploratory arm uh, aiming at um, the evaluation of the feasibility and activity of a higher dose of IMAB, which was 1,000 milligram per meter square every three weeks. And this arm will, be not, will now represent the focus of this um, presentation because the results came after, um, uh, uh, after the abstract was submitted to ASCO. Um, the primary endpoint, arm one versus arm two, was progression-free survival at a hazard ratio of 0.725, an alpha of 10%, one-sided, and a power of 70%. The patients were stratified according to Claudine positivity and measurability of disease. Main inclusion criteria included uh, the disease, gastric, esophageal, or junctional adenocarcinoma. All patients had to be a first-line patient, and uh, locally advanced uh, or metastatic disease were eligible. And most importantly, patients had to have a two plus or three plus expression of Claudine 18-2 in immune histochemistry in equal or more than 40% of the tumor cells uh, as ev uh, evaluated centrally uh, uh, with a validated as a CE marked IVD kit. Patients had to have an eco performance status of zero or one. These are the main results of the trial. The progression-free survival, which was the primary endpoint, median progression-free survival was 4.8 months with EOX and 7.9 months with EOX plus IMAP. The hazard ratio was 0 0.47 and the p-value was 0 0.0001. Um, um, with, with this, the, the study met its primary endpoint uh, with a clearly significant improvement in progression-free survival. Also, overall survival improved significantly. Median overall survival was 8.4 months with EOX and 13.2 months with EOX plus IMAB um, uh, 362. 
and um, at, uh, according to a hazard ratio of 0 0.51 and a highly uh, significant p-value of 0 0.0001. You see the curves separated early, and they maintained the separation also in the later course of, uh, of the development. We also looked at the progression fee and overall survival in the so-called high expressors. These were patients who had a Claudine 18-2 staining in 70% um, uh, in of their tumor cells or more than 70%. And um, uh, both progression-free and overall survival were pronounced uh, or the improvement was pronounced in this cohort. Median PFS was 5.6 versus 7.2 months, um, according to a hazard ratio of 0 0.36. And median overall survival was nine months in, with EOX and 16.7 months with the EOX plus IMAP 362, um, uh, and uh, according to a hazard ratio of 0 0.45. So um, it seemed that patients who expressed more claudine derived more benefit from the treatment. Uh, these are the objective response rates according to RITSYST. The overall response rate was 25% with EOX and 39% with EOX plus IMAP, um, um, with a complete response rate of 3.6 versus 10.4 percent, and the partial response rate of 21 versus uh, 29 percent. Uh, in terms of, of toxicities, the treatment was well tolerated, uh, uh, with most of the side effects uh, being one-digit numbers in, in, uh, uh, um, in terms of the grid 3, 4 toxicity. Uh, what we saw that there was a slight increase in the rate of grade 3, 4 nit neutropenia from 21.4 to 32.5 percent. And what we also saw is an increase in grade 1, 2, and in grade 3, and uh, uh, vomiting. Um, as you see here, grade 3 for vomiting was slightly increased from 3.6 to 10.4 um, uh, and also grade 1, 2 from 34.5 to 55.8 percent, which could be a, a specific side effect of this antibody uh, because tight junction proteins and claudine is present in the gastric mucosa. So in summary, the FAST trial clearly met its primary endpoint. Um, uh, there is a significant improvement in, uh, of PFS and OS in the entire cohort, but also in the uh, high, uh, pro more pronounced in the higher expressors. Uh, IMAB and EOX was feasible and well tolerated, and uh, this study provides a strong rationale for a confirmatory phase three trial. Uh, I would like to thank all patients and their relatives who participated at this trial, all investigators and study teams, uh, the colleagues and scientists who invested uh, years of work in this, um, uh, in this antibody uh, highlighting Eslim Turici, which is here uh, under, um, um, with us, uh, Ogur Shahin and Christoph Huber. And thank you very much.